A will is basically a written document, which is witnessed by two people and notarized, and it states where you want your assets to go after your death, how they pass and to whom they pass. It is a public record which anyone can go down to the courthouse and read. A trust, on the other hand, is more or less a bucket that holds the title of your assets rather than being in just your name. It plans for, if you're alive but incapacitated, you've named a successor trustee to take over your finances, meaning those assets titled in the name of your trust, and more importantly, upon your death, it keeps your affairs private. Because the only thing that gets filed with the probate court upon your death is a notice of trust, which tells the world that you died and you died with the trust, but no one has access to that trust, meaning who gets your assets and how they get them. In a trust, most of the work is done during your lifetime, and typically trusts do cost more than wills. However, you are avoiding the probate at the time of your death, and so is your family and your loved ones. So you have to make sure that you don't have what we call a dry trust, and that means that you've actually taken the steps to retitle your assets, whether they're bank accounts or brokerage accounts or real estate, into the name of your trust. So long as those assets are titled to the name of the trust, then your successor guard, your successor trustee, whether that's because you're alive but not able to handle your affairs or because you've passed, will have the legal authority once they accept the trusteeship to handle those assets for you, either to utilize them for your care or upon your death to distribute them in the manner that you've stated you want them to go in your trust.